It's obvious why people like to use travel CPAPs when they're away from home. They're smaller, they're lighter, and they usually have a better range of power options. So with these great benefits, why wouldn't everybody just use a travel CPAP all the time? Well, at Respiop, our advice is that you don't use a travel device for general at-home use, and here's why. Travel devices are designed for occasional rather than full-time use. They of course have smaller motors that will wear out faster. This means that they usually have a shorter lifespan than at-home units. While at-home devices should last you at least five years, travel devices would last much less than that if you use them all the time. So this shorter lifespan would make them much more expensive per night of use. A second reason involves your sleep data. Comprehensive data monitoring and reporting is vital for adjusting treatment for successful CPAP therapy. And it's required by many insurance companies and others for your continued cover. Although travel devices collect and store your sleep data, there are often some restrictions on what can be easily viewed or accessed. For example, ResMed's Air Mini has no screen to display your data, nor does it have an SD storage card that can be removed from the unit. And as we've explained in the past, this means that you can't view data collected by the Air Mini on third-party sleep data software like Oscar. When it comes to noise, travel CPAPs are usually a little louder than at-home devices as well. This is because their smaller size means that they have less sound, insulation foam to reduce the motor noise. Also, as I've mentioned, the motors have to be smaller to fit in this compact design, which means they have to work harder to generate the same pressure as a larger motor would. And there can be other reasons for that extra noise that have to do with the physical design features of some travel CPAPs. For example, the Air Mini can be noisier than an at-home device because of the design of the humidification system that it uses. We've made another video on this and how to minimize this noise to so see a video linked in the description for that one. But while we're talking about humidification, travel devices don't have a water chamber, as you can see, for humidification, as it would take up too much space. Most travel devices use substitutes, such as HME filters. HME filters are fine for most people, but are of course less effective than the real deal. Plus, they require the filters to be regularly replaced, which gets expensive if these machines are going to be used full time. Lastly, although this varies from machine to machine, some travel CPAPs have fewer comfort and therapy features than a typical at-home machine would. Oh, and many insurance companies won't cover travel CPAPs either, so you may end up footing the bill entirely by yourself if you go the travel CPAP route. So for all of these reasons, we suggest getting an at-home device for general use and save your travel CPAP for those business trips and vacations. Can you use your at-home device when you travel? Now with a little bit of planning, sure. But just like there are drawbacks with using a travel CPAP for home therapy, at-home devices aren't designed with travel in mind. So you'll be making other compromises if you use one of those while traveling. However, the Apex XT is a low cost, good in-between option if you're looking for an at-home device that's also good for travel. And it's FAA approved to boot. Now, I know our advice to get both a travel and an at-home device means you need to buy two machines, but don't despair. It's always a good idea to have more than one CPAP option on hand anyway, even if you don't travel too often. The travel CPAP can double up as a handy backup for your main unit in case something goes wrong with it. The last thing you want is to have an unexpected issue with your primary machine and be left with no CPAP for the night. And the peace of mind that you won't be left in that situation can be worth the cost of a travel unit all on its own. All of this said, if you do want to use a travel device for general use, then we suggest you carefully choose it based on what is important to you. If comfort features are vital, then consider the Air Mini. If your noise tolerance is low, then the Breeze Z2 is one of the quietest travel options. If size and weight are your biggest considerations, then go with the Transcend Micro. Or if you want the option of adding a water chamber and need a removable SD card, then the Apex XT is for you. It's all about striking the right balance depending on your needs. And of course, if you want help making that decision, you can always give us a call at Resp Shop and we can walk you through your options. After all, the most important thing with every decision you make is about whether your chosen CPAP machine allows you to, you know what's coming, sleep tight. Bye-bye for now.